What's up, Star Wars fans? Welcome back to the last of the three most recent Black Series action figure reviews I've dropped. And this is number 69, the Rebel Trooper, also known as Rebel Fleet Trooper. Uh, these guys showed up at the end of Rogue One and the start of A New Hope. Uh, here is the uh, box. I'm pretty sure this guy's based off of the, uh, this figure is based off one of the guys you see in A New Hope. As per usual, we have a bio just at the top there. I can't fit the rest of the box in screen. There we go. Drawn from many home worlds and species, Rebel Troopers were the Alliance's frontline soldiers in the war against the Empire. They defended the Alliance's leaders on countless worlds and during many operations, changing uniforms and tactics to meet each challenge. So this is a great figure. We've been looking forward to this for a very long time. Uh, they announced it well over a year ago. Um, so it's only just sort of hitting now. Uh, within the last month or two, um, very excited to have this one. They've sort of they've tried to give us a bit of a taste of Rogue One and A New Hope by offering up a little thing of the Death Star plans uh, card there. Personally, I feel like this figure could have been a either a deluxe figure or do what they've recently done with in with the Marvel Legends line. They've given the Red Skull couple of accessory options and head swaps um, so we can get alternate heads for this guy um, I think by now we've probably all got some alternate heads from other figures and we can do some swaps but uh, yeah I, d I don't feel like there's any use in having four or five of this guy with the, when they've all got the same face um, I've attempted to do that in my three and three quarter inch line where I've replaced replaced some of the heads and it's turned out okay um, See, there's just a little bit of a lost opportunity there, but never mind. We'll get through this thing because he's uh, one cracking figure despite that. I'll take off his helmet. Now, unfortunately, my helmet here has a bit of a chunk taken out of it. I'm not sure what happened there. It's just a just a error in the mold that's kind of enough to sort of bum me out. And look at, when I look at this figure now. Um, so I might be able to try and just sort of sand that down and level it out across there a little bit. Um, that sort of just bummed me out a little bit um, when you get a sort of production error like that. But that's okay. Again, these troopers are in the start of, start of A New Hope. The end of Rogue One. And like I said, it would have been great to get some of those some of those troopers at the end of Rogue One, we really got to see their faces. Um, Gareth Edwards was one of them. Uh, he's the one that released the ship at the end of at the end of Rogue One, as they all scrambled aboard the Tanta V from the Profundity, which was Radis's ship. Um, and there was the one that yelled "Launch." He's my favourite one. <laughs> if, you, if I had to pick a favourite Rebel trooper, that's the guy. But it's a, it's a stunning looking head sculpt. Looks really, really good. We've got the sort of standard Rebel Blaster there. I didn't do my research on this one. <laughs> I didn't I'd dig through books for any longer than five seconds. I gave up. Um, that's just how useless I am. I did it for that other video though, so... Yeah. <laughs> I've done my research for the year. Nicely painted though. We got the Death Star plans in in this hand, the data card that uh, Antilles hands over to Leia. Which is nicely done. There's some really fine little details on there. As you can see. Really fine little details. figure itself, any sort of jacket, belt, this looks nice, Got this blaster holster there on the side, it's pretty pretty generic looking pants, grey pants, and pretty stock standard looking black boots, let me get a real close up look at that. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So 
under this jacket. That's something we haven't seen in the Star Wars Black series 6 inch line until now, which is these sort of, I think what they call them, butterfly joints in Marvel Legends. Um, sort of in the side there, allow the, allow the arms to really push forward and push back, but there's not really a lot of options with that jacket there. So you can probably slice it down. I think what they've tried to do is have that have that pose where they've got both both hands holding the blaster. Which would have worked well. If you could slice a little bit of that jacket up. Create some more space. I'm not going to. But uh, yeah, I definitely want to get a couple more of this guy. Just so I can have, you know, at least, at least a couple. But it's a, it's a nice figure. It's a good army builder. I know these will get sold really quickly. I know Dorkside Toys had lots of eight. You can buy them in a case of eight, which was which is awesome. In terms of articulation on this guy, he's got the ball jointed head and neck, the ball hinged shoulders and elbows, that butterfly joint that I showed you, uh, wrists, upper torso. Hips, thighs, double joint knees, and the ankles as well. It's a pretty standard articulation now with that extra butterfly joint. Which is a really cool bonus. Pop his helmet back on. Which is a nice snug fit. But yeah, definitely going to try and fix that little unfortunate divot there. So thank you very much for watching guys. Any comments and feedback are always appreciated. Just drop them down below. And I'll be back with some more very soon. So until then, may the force be with you.